let me tell you a tale about a pair of socks that got me stuck into some shit once. I was in Winners looking for a fantastic pair of winter socks that wouldn't break the bank, and that would be like a blanket for my cold feet. The sweaty kind of socks where your toes squish with sweat when you walk, like too warm. Anywho, I convinced the clerk to let me wear the socks out of the dressing room as I wanted to try them out on the street. I wanted to see if they would be good street socks or backyard socks. Suddenly, a beater truck appeared out of nowhere as I was dangling my new sock in a puddle, and he ran over my foot. I yelled at the shithead. These are new socks, for damn sakes. I remember him flipping me the bird and I must have passed out from the foot pain, because of the next thing I know, I'm naked, lying face down on a table with my bare behind raised in the air and a sock stuck into my anus. The sicko who ran over my foot was wearing my new sock on his arm. Turns out this jerk had a weird fetish about collecting warm feces in a sock and putting his arm inside because he liked the feeling of total warmth. He kept me there for some time to shit in the socks. I really don't know how long it was. It was half glorious though, I got to admit. I spent my days feeding carrots to caribou a caribou who insisted his name was Randy Rabbit. Glorious fellow. And I spent time painting the incredible landscape I saw behind me on the side of a barn. I'm fairly certain now that I was being fed strictly yogurt and heroin, and that the caribou weren't real. Not long after I had straight diarrhea for a while and he deemed the shit wasn't warm enough, he let me go and let me keep the socks that he washed, stained, but warm. He drove me back to my father's farm and while I waved goodbye to my tormentor, Dr. Welcome, I couldn't help but notice the uncanny resemblance Dr. Welcome bore to my father, Dr. Farewell. As the days went by, my father doted on me as he never had before. He'd swat flies and feed me baguettes while I took a shit. It was nice. It took me a long time to lose the feeling that I was wasting my warm shit and that I could just let it slide out into the sea through the toilet. I eventually did get over that, and one day I'll get the courage to ask my father about my suspicions that I have an uncle named Dr. Welcome and that my father, Dr. Farewell, lent me to him to shit in socks and to warm his hands. <laughs>